So the course takes place in Baluli Nature Reserve, which is a part of the Associated Private Nature Reserves of the Kruger National Park, the Greater Kruger Park in South Africa, a very large conservation area, which includes the big five. So there are large animals like elephants, lions, uh, leopards, buffalo, rhino. Um, one lives in a camp in the reserve. The camp has no fences, so animals are free to wander through. That camp is always full of volunteers and, and various other people. It's staffed by people who are all trained guides and they have extensive experience, so it's a very safe place to be. I chose this program because I thought it would be a good opportunity to apply what I know about tropical agriculture to African conservation biology, which is what we've been learning since we've been here. And I thought it would be an awesome opportunity to come with uh, people from my college as well, but from different majors as well as my own. So I have someone to compare knowledge with as well as learn new things from, and not only from the professors, but also from my peers. So there are a lot of different things that we learned while on this trip. We learned that prickly pear is an invasive species and how to use bowel control to manage the population. We also learned how to track different animals by looking at their footprints on the ground. And we learned about the different conservation efforts that are being used for anti-poaching. So since I've been in South Africa, we've done a lot of field work with um, a lot of different people working on different projects, including setting up camera traps with a rhino tracker, uh, Mark Wright, had a bee pheromone project that we got to help him out on, and also just general tree surveying. Um, we also got to go out with an anti-poaching unit and see how they patrol the fence line and how that contributes to the well-being of the animals. So there are a number of benefits to students who sign up for the course and participate. Uh, students sign up through the study abroad program at University of Hawaii, Manoa. You can sign up for either three or six credits the six credit option including a write-up at the end of the experiences or some kind of research project that the student participated in. You get study abroad experience even if you don't sign up for credits, you're still considered a study abroad student. And I think that all goes to um, showing that one's prepared to be a little pioneering and participate in things that are expanding one's horizons. I think this program would be great for students who love to be outdoors, who love field work, and have a love for animals, conservation, and wildlife. Students should do study abroad while they're in university because it's through a safer program and you also get to experience the world and its different cultures in a, in a different light. You get new perspectives on work that you may have been doing back home and you get to encounter people from all different cultures while also staying with students from your own university so you never really feel like you have that homesick feeling. Well, students that participate in this course, I believe, have a great time being out in the field. They get to experience amazing things, interacting with remarkable animals. You can bump into elephants any time of the day and interact very closely with them. There are cultural interactions with people around the campfire every night, which is, is quite a unique experience too, I think, living around a campfire for a couple of weeks and talking to a diversity of people. It's quite remarkable. Uh, you get to live out there in the quiet at night where you can hear hyenas in the distance and lions. So if you're interested in um, perhaps getting out of your comfort zone, doing something really adventurous, something unique, then I think this is the thing for you.